Hi guys, my name is Kimberly and welcome to my channel and today we're going to, I'm going to be doing a what I got for Christmas haul. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop right into it because I just want to show you guys some of the things that I got. And the first item right here I got is this a cute little light. It has this little switch here where the top lights up. It's got this little dome up on the top and then it has these little cute faceted beads. Some of big, some of little ones on the chain. Um, what I like about this is you leave it in the middle and just the base, there's light in the base, just the base will light up like a night light and that's what I've been using it for. And or then you can turn on the top or the top and the bottom. And it's a, it's a small one, it's perfect for night light and it's made of acrylic. And I just love this because it's pink and it's, I'm a sucker for any kind of gems that hangs off. So you know how I am. So that's my first item that I got. Okay, now guys, I want to show you the second item here, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how I'm going to show you this on, on here, but I'm going to try my best to do it. It is a light. It is a uh, chrome with a crystal teardrop uh, beads hanging off of it, and it's like a, a swirl. Let me try to turn it sideways so you can actually see. Uh, the base is silver, and then um, right here, I don't, I don't want to break it. It's kind of like I got a big old S. It's like a big old S hook right here, and it's about it's about 20 inches high. Um, it's really super cute. Here are the beads. Um, if I can show you these beads here on the side. They're these really cute little teardrops, and it is really pretty. And it has the top has this little additional little loop right like that. So I absolutely adore that. And it's, it has a little switch on the side. It is by um, J. Hunt Home. And um, so that is super cute. I'm going to be using the pink one for my nightlight. And the silver one that I have, I'm going to actually be using that as my, um, my light over next to um, my bed where I'm reading things. So I thought that would be super cute. I have a lot of other items I want to show you guys, but um, I can't show you because they're too big. So I'll just have to wait, and so I'll just go ahead and show you the rest of my stuff. Hi guys, my name is Kimberly, and welcome to my channel. Um, but this is really cool. Uh, this is kind of like a silver and white lampshade, so I do like that. So I was thinking, um, depending on this, the pink one I have is just more like for fun. My, it's, it's basically my night light, and the other one, the silver one, is my regular light. And if I need any more lights, I don't know what I'm going to do with this just yet. I do like the lampshade because it has the silver in it. But I would probably add um, a little bit of those um, uh, little dangling crystals go going around the bottom. Um, just to give it a little bit extra pizzazz. Maybe put a couple little rhinest rhinestones or something around the, around the top. or I don't know. But the, the base, I would have to paint this. I don't know if I would just do it silver or white. Or I can actually put, um, do it white and, and put uh, beads around it. Which, if you guys have a light, I actually was thinking about doing this. I will show you one of the things I will do in another haul of my after Christmas sales of things that I bought. But you can take beads like this, I'm thinking. Now, I don't know if it's going to work. Um, and wrap it, like say you paint it, say this was um, like a silver or white, and if I just wanted to wrap it around the base and just have a couple rows, you, know, you had to see um, how many rows. It looks like it would fit three pretty decently and hot glue it on there or e use the E6000. And you can they have different, they have this in silver, white, gold, um, but I like this iridescent one that I got on sale, which I'll show you guys on the stuff that I bought. And later so that's another lighting thing so I don't know if I'm going to use this one or not so let me set this somewhere out of the way so I can show you guys these things I have a lot of stuff to show you guys um just so much stuff <laughs> you're not going to believe it just just be watching my channel you will definitely you have to see this to believe it <laughs> okay that was corny on now forgive me but then they have this um now, I don't know if this is kind of like a really dark pink or red, and my eyes is playing tricks on me when I look, look at this. Um, but they know that I can alter it. It is a little craft box with a little handle, and it is regular $14.99. It's a basket. It's by Celebrate It. Um, I don't like the color. The color is nice, but not for my room. But I do like that little silver believe on both sides. So what I was thinking about doing 
is just painting this out probably I'll probably go with a cameo pink or even a white or white maybe um, I don't know which and it'll be a little bit tricky getting around in here but I, I can do it but so I was thinking about painting that maybe adding a couple little um, gems through here just to give a little extra bling to it but I thought that was really cute and, and I just love storage items like that Okay, not all, not all the items are crafts, some of them aren't. Uh, so I'm just going to show you everything. Then I got this right here. It is a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Let me show you here. It is a Disney Mickey Mouse, um, one of them onesies. You know, it has, if I can find the front of it, it has the hat right here. Here's the hat, and the front has this little Mickey Mouse face. And then the front of it, it has a zipper, and you just... It's just like one big solid pajama set that you uh, zipper up. Now I don't have any of those, but this is like one of the, the real the fleece, real soft and cushy. So I thought that was cute. I got that, and then um, I got this. Um, they gave me it's a little kitten, and it's a little you know for like if you're crafting and your legs are getting cold, you just throw this over you yeah, and everything. Um, it doesn't go with my decor, but every, it doesn't. Everything doesn't have to. There's just some items that just are real soft and nice, and you just want for comfort. And I do like this because it's a cute little kitten. So, and this is the royal plush um, throw. And um, I was trying to think of, did it give the size here? I don't see the size, but it, oh yeah, right here. Here, here is the size. It's 50 inches by 60. So that is really cute. Um, then I got, I thought this was pretty, if I can show you, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not, I can't tell, it's a very, one of them long shirts, and it has this, um, material sheer at the end, and it's white, it's a v-neck, as you, if, as you can see right here, and it, the shoulders here, it, this is, the arms are sheer, and it has a, it's kind of like cut out. So your arm will go in it kind of like, if I can get it in my hand in here. Oh my goodness, well I don't think I have it turned right. I think it's kind of twisty, yeah it is. So it's kind of like that in the, up here, your, so your arm is kind of out. So it's kind of like a flowy, because they know I kind of like these like um, real flowy uh, shirts and stuff. And so I thought that was really cute. I like them when they look they're like light and airy, kind of like... My sister kind of says some of my clothes kind of looks like a gypsy to a elven thing. So they just call it different things. And then I got this item, which i never seen before. This was a stocking stuffer. <laughs> I've never seen this before. They gave this to me. I was like, what is that? And uh, it's you take this off and these, it's, it looks like a torture device or, or I thought it was a whisk at first. But it is a, a scalp, a head massager, and I, I there's like, hold on, and so they, they took it out right here. I'll go ahead and take it out. <laughs> it is hilarious. So I, I still think if I rent, if I couldn't find my beaters, my whisk, I can use this. But in, and it, it spreads out, and it actually does feel really good. <laughs> It really does. I was surprised, and I wore it on my head for about a half hour after that. You know, I just kept doing it, and he was laughing at me. But, yeah, this was a stocking stuffer, but I just had to show you this. Not that it's something amazing, but it's something I've never seen before. And you know when you see this, you think of a whisk, too. So I just want to make sure that I am not the only one. Okay. <laughs> then, um, I got this. This is the... Recollections uh, craft storage system is a small rectangular wire basket with a liner. Like they have these S brackets if you want to hook it. It like um, oh, oh, I thought they had a picture on here. Maybe they don't. Like okay, if you just want to hook it like that, if you have that system, but I don't. So you don't have to use it with that. You can just it had it. Had, this was, just keeps everything from falling out. There's the front. Inside, so it's a neat little storage thing. I, um, I don't know what I'm going to put in it just yet, but I like it because it's uh, silver, and I can. I always find uses for storage um, because I've been trying to be a good girl and get organized. Okay, and then I got 
these right here these are gym shoes and they're sketchers and they have the I think this one has the memory foam in it yeah it's the memory foam and it's they're real comfy and I normally go for white but you you know you always need black too as well so I got this and I, I really like these as well because um, at least it won't uh, show any dirt which <laughs> I'm pretty pretty clumsy what I what I like about this right here is that there's you can just leave the shoestrings tucked in like that and you don't have to tie them where you can pull them out and is there, yeah you can pull them out or tie them but I like to tuck them I like just to slide my shoes in because I get those gym shoes that's kind of like a half of a gym shoe and the, this doesn't have the back half and you just slip your foot in there so I thought those were cute and then they got these right here these are LA gear and this is a weird bottom. I don't know what these are. They're real lightweight. And I guess you just slip these in and you can just wear these. So those are really good. I can wear those outside when I'm working around and doing things. Just want to slip it on. Don't have to worry about too many grass stains. Okay. And of course, I, they got me some candy. Which these are really super rich. So one piece goes a long way. <laughs> Keep it working on one piece. They're really good. They're the, uh, the that's what they are right there. So it's a big container of those. So yeah, that will give you a if you have need a chocolate with this. Then I got um don't worry, I have some more craft stuff coming up. I'm just getting these out of the way so I can move them. These are the cabin socks, they're like the really soft inside. Um, because my feet gets really cold. So these are these are cute. I like those. Because they're, they're thicker than the normal ones that you get, like at the Dollar Tree and stuff like that. So, and then I got this, um, this uh, right here. It's uh, one of them half sweaters that you wear. It's a little, this, like an elbow length sleeves. And um, here, that's what, it's like that kind of material. It's like a knit. So, that was cute. I don't, I don't, I don't have any of the half sweaters. Um, but my niece got this for me. She thought it was like in style, really cute. And then I got this little, this, uh, it's a ladies minky fleece sleepwear set. It has a little pocket with the bow, but it's just really, really soft material. I like them a little big on me, so that is cute. Okay, and now this is kind of neat. I'll show you guys this. This is for your, like if you want to decorate your craft room. This says, always chase your dreams instead of running from your fears. So that's a cute little saying and stuff. And um, it is black on the sides. And it has the uh, little hook there where you hook it on your wall. So that's what that looks like. So I will sit this where I'm running out of space, guys. Right there. Okay. No, actually, I'm going to have to put this back in the bag. I am. Oh, my goodness. And then um, I got this one right here, which go, goes with my room. Um, it says, uh, never stop believing, I mean, never stop dreaming. Um, have another one says the other. And it has this like chevron print, and it's got the browns and the whites and the blues. And um, the back looks like that right there. You can hang, hang it on your wall. Or if you had those, um, just, just the cubicle shelving systems, you could actually sit this on the back of some. This is what I use a lot of these for. You know how the back of your shelving, you can, units, um, the cubicles, like you can get the six and a three, and I mean six, three, nine, um, on up. Well, on the back of them, they usually give you the backs or like so many of it, uh, not all of it. But if you don't want to look at the plain white, you can either use your craft paper and cardstock and make your own back, which is really cute. So that way, when you're looking through there, it's just not a plain white background. Or you can get items like this and just sit it in the back, which I, I do that a lot. And it looks really nice. You wouldn't think so, but it really, it really does. Um, then I got this one. It's, it says, uh, follow a plan, but be flexible. And it has the dots and stuff, and it has the glitter and the blue, and the back looks like that. So, it's that one. Um, 
Okay, then I got these right here. These are the throw cushions. I really like this front. I'm not much on black. Well, I go through stages, so that's why I always keep uh, things even though with the black. Because black tends to go through everything, but I'm going with a more of a, on this side of my craft side, like a light pastel type. But I, I can make this work as well, because the front, I mean, you know, that's mostly silver and stuff. And it's, it's um, a foil printed deco pillow, warm and snuggly collection. It's 14 by 14. And I got two of these. So, I do like those as well. Super cute. Um, some items I'll have to show you later because they're really, really huge, and you're just not going to believe it. I mean, they're like, I am so tempted. Some really expensive things, like bedding sets, and I'll show you. I'll try to show you one of them though. Okay, now this right here. Oh my gosh, guys, you got to check this out. Sorry about the crinkle. Okay, this right here says. Happy is a new rich. Now this one right here is perfect for me. It has a, the clear glass right here. Plus on the end, it's a, a like a gold foil type, like a really gold. And this right here is in, in the foil. So that is by, uh, well this is glass wall art. And it's by Macbeth Collection. And the back looks like that. So I thought that was really cute. Now i got to put Put this back over it so I don't break it and put it in my picture bag. I'm trying to put all, all these breakables things that get tore up. Cover your ears, guys. I was hoping to get a microphone, <laughs> but I don't think they understood what kind of get me because they're not really into that filming and stuff. So then I got okay, this is awesome. Okay, this right here. <laughs> it's a hot mess, and but this is really neat. It's it's an LED light box, and it's super cool. And I will show you why what it does. See, I mean, I don't know if you can tell in the what it's light here. I don't know if you can see that. I need a new battery in there because this battery right here isn't that great. Oh, the back ain't on all the way. That's why. So it kind of got messed up. But um, let me see if I can get this lit up. Okay, so it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it is lit up. So that is super cute. And it is uh, by, let me turn it off. Um, requires two A batteries and Rue Decor. So that is really super cute. Now I don't know how I'm going to fit this. I'm just going to have to sit it over here and hope for the best. And remember that it's there. Um, then I got, uh, okay guys, I'm going to show you something. It is cool, really cool, just a minute, it is really heavy, well not really. <laughs> da, 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 you guys, look what I got, it is the Silhouette Cameo, it's the electronic cutting board, um, and I've been wanting one of these. I've been wanting one of these on one of the uh, big shots. And for those who don't know what it is, it basically you can print out these. Sh oh well, you go online. They have these uh, basic all different kinds of shapes. You can also buy different shapes like flowers, ribbons, hearts, all different kinds of things. And for you crafters, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it says uh, you can print and cut, use the Cameo's print and cut features to perfectly cut out designs and images you have printed on your home printer. Um, then it says uh, you can design because it comes uh, with the Silhouette Studio software and you can create your designs, use your fonts, use for you know making check cards, making cards, uh, crafting, uh, scrapbooking, photograph, um, you know the photo albums, decorating, uh, making cards, and all that. And this. This, I can only see, show you this part of the box just so you can see what it is. So I'm really super happy with this right here. And she also ordered me um, some extra cutting tools. This should be coming here this week that goes with it. Some like accessories and some mats. And um, I get to I get to choose something else like if I want the vinyl or the rhinestone kit or whatever. So if you guys own one of these. And you know something is like right around 30 bucks or under that if for somebody who has nothing for it that just got one of these cameos, what you would recommend most, would you recommend, 
they have this um, studio software like an upgrade I've seen that and some other things what is the top uh, things that you would purchase for this I could if you if you know just please um, give me a comment below because I have no experience with this I just thought it was cool and what one and I guess I was a good girl because I got one and so I'm really really tickled with that that is so cool now some of my other items I'm going to do another video and show you uh, as soon as I figure out how to put this down without falling over. Okay. So my other items, I'm going to uh, wait until I, because I get stuff scattered all over my room. and I've been try I've been dying to show you guys a lot of stuff, and um, but I wanted to wait till I get my room done because I was, you know, fixing up my, you guys seen on my pegboard. Um, Oh my gosh, that, that video was horrible long. I should have made a condensed version. I might later on go and, and just make it super condensed version of that. But you, in that video, it shows you basically my craft space. And it is blah, guys. I mean, it is blah. It's, it's down here in the basement. And so, no, I've been working on it. I'm putting shelving units and pegboard projects. And I, what I wanted to tell you guys, I uh, went... And they had some sales at like Joann's and Michael's and Myers. And I bought some um, like things for my craft space to make it like shelving units and armors and all different kinds of really cool things that I am going to be showing you guys. And I'll that's look for that upcoming in a uh, video. And also here probably really soon um, I need to do a video because I went to some after Christmas sales and I want to show you guys uh, the things that I got and the discounts and everything while you know because I just went you know I went a couple times and it was this week um, earlier this week just a few days ago so they should still have these at, at the stores and things you can get and look at and different things you can use these projects for other than just Christmas because that's why I try to get check these items that I can use all year round or something uh, even the stuff for Christmas that I really like when it's on sale so that's coming up a new bead new beading place for you guys because um, due to request is coming up um, and I'm going to be doing it since I have to make a couple purse charms I'm just going to go ahead as gifts I'm going to go ahead and do a video tutorial on that as requested um, by some of you guys um, in comments and sending me messages I'll be doing that as well plus some other uh, a lot of other fun things you can look forward to so thank you for sticking in here with me I'm um, sorry if this video was a little bit long but uh, I wanted to show you everything that I got for Christmas and if you guys do videos and you um, did a haul like um, what you had for Christmas I mean what all you got I would just love to see I love seeing what people got for Christmas I really do so if you have any uh, videos like that or even you know crafts and beads and just uh, whatever you do um, just go ahead and link you know not let me um, links okay too <laughs> but leave a comment below and let me know that you have videos and I would love to see them so I hope you guys enjoy this video if you do give me a thumbs up like share it with your friends um, just tell people about it I would I truly appreciate that and thank you to all my subbies um, we're quickly coming up on 1,000 subscribers here hopefully pretty soon and so I'm really ex super excited about that we're gonna do something really special and I hope you guys have a wonderful night and Happy New Year's. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.